Chemistries and welcome back to another lesson on Organic Chemistry. So today we're going to learn about a new group and uh, or a new family and we are going to look at how um, we can break them up and how they are made. So today we are going to talk about the family called esters. And, and ester um, is, a, is a lovely molecule because they smell quite nice. So if you think of DPED or um, any for, for sports injuries, that nice DPED smell, that is because of wintergreen that is actually an ester. So how do we know? So they smell nice, but also when we zoom into the, um, the molecule, we know we can, we can find them by looking for this double bonded O. O. That's kind of like the chain and the connection between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So that's how we make it, by adding a carboxylic acid and an alcohol and be, uh, they react, but they kind of join hands with this little e ester bond. The O, the, this is the ester bond, and the ester bond is kind of like joining the alcohol side and the carboxylic acid side together to one, make one big long molecule, and that is called an ester. So let's quickly have a look at how we prepare an ester. Okay, so when we, we said an ester is made up of a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. And what happens is when we put these two together, and remember this is going to be your ester connection with the double bonded OO, um, and that's your bond. So what's going to happen is we need to get rid of this H, and we need to get rid of the OH on this side in order to um, keep the o, double bonded OO. Okay, so that with H, um, two H's and O means that this could form water. So we need to take water out of this solution or this mixture of um, molecules. And um, hopefully you can remember if we take moisture out, water out of it, we, uh, we, there's only one thing that can dehydrate that sucks out the water and that is called uh, sulfuric acid. So if we add sulfuric acid to it in a container, what's going to happen is this sulfuric acid is going to take the, the H and the OH, it's going to suck it out of the, this, and then what's, even, what's left is we have this double bonded OO, and then we have the alcohol that's connected to it, and that would become your ester. Right, so how do we name an ester? If we look at this, uh, we need name the alcohol side first. So the alcohol side, because it's only one, it's a meth. So we're going to say methyl. So it ends in an aisle. And then we're going to name the, uh, the acid. So the acid has two ones, so it's going to be eth. So it's going to be methyl ethanoate. So methyl ethanoate is the name of this ester because it's made up of a meth methanol and it's made up of an ethanoic acid. And when we combine them together because they have an ester bond, the linkage between them, they become an ester, so we call it methyl ethanoate. Right, so esters have these fancy naming um, conventions and they are made up of carboxylic acids and alcohols and if we add sulfuric acid to it, it draws out the water and because there's no more water, these carbons link, or these o, the O and the C link together to form an ester bond and this is your ester bond. And now we're going to go just a, a little bit more into detail around the actual reaction and the actual practical way of creating a, 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 an ester. And remember we said an ester has a carboxylic acid, we'll put a carboxylic acid, and we have the alcohol um, in there. Okay, so we have the carboxylic acid and the alcohol in there, and then this setup is under reflux. So remember, the reflux is that distillation. Instead of the distillation tube um, running horizontal, we put it up vertically because um, whatever is formed will kind of get forced to go back into the container to react again. 
Okay, so we have the carboxylic acid and the um, alcohol, and with this carboxylic acid and alcohol, we need to add sulfuric acid. Remember, sulfuric acid is kind of like the catalyst that makes this reaction happen. It draws out and dehydrates the water. Okay, so this is the setup, and then we need to add some heat to it. Um, I'm just going to put a little flame so you can remember. We need to add a little bit of heat, uh, not too much, but we need to heat this reaction to so it takes place. So we have this alcohol, uh, alcohol and carboxylic acid with sulfuric acid, draws out the water, and then you some it'll react. Okay, and then so, because we said esters smell nice, we kind of have a nice smelling um, aroma that gets emitted through this um, the, this tube or the setup. Right. So after that, we need to add. We need to get rid of the sulfuric acid because the sulfuric acid is still in that solution and it's very strong, so it's concentrated. It's very strong acid, so whatever we do with this newly created ester, we don't want it to get spoiled by the sulfuric acid that's left. Okay, so what we're going to do then, so that's step one, we're adding them together. And step two is we are going to add a carbonate. So whether it's calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate, something that's a carbonate, and remember carbonates are bases. So if we say it's a, a we'll go calcium carbonate, or yeah, whatever carbonate, this carbonate will react with the sulfuric acid and then neutralize the sulfuric acid to produce water and salt. Okay? So that's going to be react, and what we'll see is bubbles forming. Bubbles forming. And then, after the bubbles are formed, if there's no more bubbles left, we know that we've got rid of the very concentrated sulfuric acid. And then we have in this container an ester, and you'll be able to waff it and then uh, smell the this nice sweet smell of an Easter. Could this be that chemistry? Chemistry, baby, you and